This year was the first year it was like the test bed of can we put a load of people on the ground and really go at trying to understand an Arctic ecosystem in very challenging conditions and a challenging uh, environment. The number of people that you need on the ground to deal with large mammals, you can't just have three people in a field camp. You've got to have, you know, up to about 14 or 15 people, including, you know, obviously local guys from the communities here. It's logistically very expensive, so you invest a huge amount of money, a huge amount of effort setting up camps, moving equipment around the Arctic you're always doubting if equipment's actually going to be there and the actual logistics of the tents, all the food needed, the flights to get people up here, the challenges of moving people between base camp and back to Pond Inlet, long days and nights. I think there's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears by numerous people, you know, involved from DFO, academic institutions to the Inuit here in uh, Pond Inlet who were absolutely key on the project. <laughs> Yep. Good job. <laughs> See, it was right in this area. <laughs> See, it again. Nice. Oh. Trombley Sound is very important on many different levels. It's very important for Norwhale, which is a very valuable resource for the Inuit, for subsistence, but also, obviously, you're an enigmatic, charismatic animal globally. An area in the Canadian Arctic where we've got this massive congregation of biomass during the summer, which clearly highlights it as an area that we need to protect moving into the future. <laughs>